open it up. Go salute. I told y'all we on top of business. We standing on business on little flipper man. You will not uh, be murdered in vain. And we're gonna keep on turning over rocks and stomping those down, kicking them down until we can't do it anymore. And with the help of my brothers and sisters over here, the true family, we own it. Didn't I tell y'all? Didn't I tell y'all about Devin Burns and Cornelius in the dungeon? beefing over who got the information. Who I mean, Devin Byrne's been wanting his um, own plea agreement, but they've been down there storing feces and everything I said was true coming from my inside source. And I don't have to lie. I told y'all that, right? Now, since y'all didn't believe me right, well, guess what? We be watching and we catch all slippers in this big-ass play that they constantly trying to run with the trial, the switching of the judges, the powers that be, the uh, DA in the middle of some shit, taking donations from Jay-Z. Uh, it seemed like P. did it going. All this shit is playing a part. Uh, and everything started in November. Best believe it's going to end in November, in November, too. For anybody out there that's smart know what the significance of November mean. We'll get to that later. Now, everything I just said about Devin Burns, I've been telling y'all, right? I'm going to be like hating and all this make believe shit, cash out draining the shit out y'all, but then want to stop, stop my support over here. Look at you over there big, big on these nuts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why niggas running scams? Five different goddamn channels, uh, threatening people, uh, cash out did, sign up for that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway, I ain't got time for that bullshit. Y'all know what it is. Uh, all right. First, what y'all seen on the board, third man arrested in Young Dolph murder case makes court appearance, right? Third man arrested in Young Dolph murder case makes court appearance. Let me see. We got, let me see. They got Cornelius, they got Cornelius first. They got Straight Drop second. They got uh, Govan third. No, they ain't talking about Govan. Then Jamarcus turned this self in. That's four. Let me see. Cornelius, straight drop, Govan, and Jamarcus. Uh, that's four. That's all the people that we, oh, they playing games, but until they slip up. Now, once again, third man arrested in a young dog murder case makes court appearance. But guess who they talking about? Need the one of the four I just mentioned. They talk about this dude right here. The infamous. The scary, the, the the pimp of the the goddamn click and all the photos you seen him with T's and and, and and he always got the pimp hat on, you know, blonde dreads, uh, all that uh, blonde little twists or whatnot, you know, the player player of the click. Well, you know, that's who they call the third man arrested in Young Dog murder case. Now back in the days, him and T's it was ran, they faces ran across the news as persons of interest in the Young Dog murder case. Well, let's, um, first of all, let's take a look at Devin Burns. And uh, I want y'all to size him up and see, is he fit for jail? Does it look like he's uh, penitentiary material? Uh-uh. That's why they, okay, we'll get to that later. But watch this news clip of the third man arrested. <laughs> True. Oh, my bag, I almost forgot. I ain't mean to say it, but didn't I tell y'all this the same dude from my feet on the pavement, foot on the soil, feet on the soil, knocking on doors, 
Williams, going behind Makita, going inside Makita, going to the gas station, going here, going there, getting the homeless man out the wood, uh, talking to the Army veteran, inter interviewing the dude. Didn't I tell y'all verified that this the nigga that was behind Makita shooting in the air at the same time? These two uh, straight dropping Cornelius was uh, uh, supposed to be the ones pulling up, pretending to shoot <clears throat> inside Makita's. Then I tell y'all and verify this his ass. Now, what you think the feds got him for, and why is they slipping up now? Pressure bust pipes, and that's all I wanted to say. Don't say I told you so, but I told you so. True, cash out down saying true is our number two. Let's get it. Okay. You have a Tennessee handgun permit, yes or no? Okay. Your next court date is March 9th. Mr. Burns? Mr. Burns, you're here on two separate felony cases. The first one, you're charged with aggravated assault, four counts. That carries three to 15 years if you are convicted. Do you understand? Yes, your bond on that case is 80000 on your second case, you're charged with a Class C felony theft of property over 10000 That carries 3 to 15 years if you are convicted. Your bond on that case is 20000 You'll need a lawyer to represent you on both cases. Do you have a Tennessee handgun permit, yes or no? Are you going to be able to hire a lawyer? Okay. All right. Uh, so you need to talk to your family about hiring a lawyer. Um, so if you make these bonds uh, aggregate, they uh, is a hundred thousand dollars. There will have to be a source hearing um, before you can post a hundred thousand dollars in bonds. Do you understand that? I will set this on Monday. Four counts. Four counts. Okay. Do you need some explanation about that? Can I have that jacket? Just, would you just... That was the add-on jacket. Mr. Burns, the affidavit of complaint on the four counts of aggravated assault alleged that that um, on January 5th at some businesses on Park Avenue, the complainant, the owner of Poi Salon and a tax business alleged that you were armed with a firearm, pacing in front of the locations, threatening to kill everyone inside of them. Um, also, the shots were fired by you towards the businesses where there were children and uh, people. That's the allegation. That's the allegation, Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns. That's why you need a lawyer. I mean, You need a lawyer, sir. Mr. Burns, I'm resetting both of your cases until Monday for you to hire a lawyer. February 28th, four attorneys. Once you have a lawyer hired, he or she will be able to request a preliminary hearing for you. And that's who we're talking about. 
Devin Burns. Now remember, I told y'all also, uh, what, if I can tell y'all what's going on with my uh, partner at work as they rotate ships, whenever you get down there in the dungeon, yeah, I get inside information. And there's only three of them down there. So, and I also told you about the feds and the long game they playing, right? Now, if David Burns went from a person of interest to catching him for aggravated assault charges uh, and then want to give up information, and they, they slipped with this, with this, with this, um, what you looking at? When they label third man arresting a young dog murder case, makes court appearance, and they say, you don't never see his name nowhere associated with the case. And then we go to, we finna go to um, the last court appearance that all four suspects that that they want us to know about. And the feds got Devin Burns uh, separated. And for a good reason. Because that the feds got a lot of people. But we'll get to that later. Now, Let's go to what makes this, this is what I was saying. This title, the third man arrested a young dumb murder case, makes court appearance. They got him in big bold letters, right? So it makes you it makes you believe that they know what they're talking about, right? He must be arrested, but somebody ain't telling us nothing. Pay attention to the feds versus the state and the cover up and the district attorney who's under fire right now. They took contributions from Jay Z. Who's um, got the big head motherfucker on his wing on the takeover for the South while Young Dog did uh, with a, a CEO of Rock Nation that's a snitch that took down the cartel and tell me the higher ups ain't running this shit. So everything ain't what it appears to be. But for the people like us, like me, man, the spirit of Dolph lives in us, so we're gonna keep on scratching and scratching and scratching no matter what. The consequences may be. It's too far to turn back. And that's what support means. Now, let's go and listen to the judge that was just appointed over the trial also slip up and say something. But most importantly, as we watch this clip, isn't Govan and Jamarcus are uh, too comfortable with each other. I mean, they both out on bond, right? They came to, they probably came to court and rolled the court together. Just like Straight Drop got cell phones communicating inside the jailhouse. <laughs> the feds are smart. They dumb. You know what I'm saying? I'm quite sure he's in there using, they all wired up. You know what I'm saying? The feds. Now, remember the feds are definitely hands on this case. Right now it's the state. But the Fed is working. So keep that in consideration and let them talk. Because now that's that's one of the ways we're gonna get justice for doubt. But let's watch this um this quarter this news report about the four <laughs> the four arrested uh murder suspects, alleged murder suspects of young dog. And then we'll continue. Now, remember this title, though. Third man arrested. They ain't telling us about Devin Burns. Let's go. True. Sure. information tonight in the quest for justice for young Dolph, a case we've been following so closely here. It's been two and a half years since he was killed, and the case has yet to be tried. And one of those four suspects charged with murder was supposed to go on trial today. But as our Jarita Patterson explains, the case has been delayed again. The wheels of justice, some say, have been slow to turn in the death of Young Dolph. A trial for Justin Johnson and Cornelia Smith. The two police say pulled the triggers. We'll have to wait. As soon as Johnson was brought into court, the judge wasted no time telling the 26-year-old his trial, which was set to happen Monday, was being delayed. I was extremely upset when the lawyers came to me asking for an motion to continue this case. Both the defense and prosecutors are asking for more time to get expert witnesses in place. Johnson's attorney saying he plans to call one expert to the stand. Prosecutors are aiming to bring two to trial. 
And these are cell phone experts regarding location information on uh, cell phones. The second alleged gunman was also escorted in Monday. At which time Cornelia Smith was informed he would go to trial at a later date as well. After sitting for less than a minute, he was making his way back out. Last up, Jamarcus Johnson, who has already entered a guilty plea for being an accessory after the fact. He's standing there to the left, wearing a t-shirt that reads Misfits which according to the judge describes how he has adjusted to the court's orders. Their report says that you're not compliant with what the problem is. I'm not sure what the problem is. A problem Johnson and his attorney promised would no longer be an issue. Hernandez Govan, the alleged mastermind behind the killing, stood alongside Johnson as he too was ordered to return with the other three defendants. His attorney telling us they are ready for whatever is next. Mm-hmm. We're joined at the hips with the other defendants or we just can't. As far as I know, we at this point, things are going to proceed. The trial is set for September 23rd with the judge re-emphasizing that is the day in which it will happen. Just inside the courtroom behind me will be there as well. Reporting for your news later inside the CJC, Jarita Patterson, WREG, News Channel 3. The for the scheduled September 23rd trial date, both Justin Johnson and Cornelia Smith are set to appear in court for a motions hearing August 9th. Well, uh, Cornelius came in the courtroom, uh, looking, look, looking at uh, straight drive, like, man, you already know what's up. No keep you up, you know what I'm saying? You already know. I know I already got my deal, you know what I'm saying? And then you see, um, uh, straight drive, right? Now look at his height. He a midget, I told you, right? The dude behind him is a midget. He ain't the tall dude with the bad pro hat on. Cause even bending over uh, as he ran with the pistol running away, you know he bleached by six foot top. I mean, straight drop is a midget. Uh, Cornelia just a little, they probably down near the same height. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? These folks appear to be shooting whoever they was. And uh, I don't actually think, I don't believe they shot. I mean, shooting came from, yeah, somewhere inside based on all the evidence. Now, let it go again. Look at this. I don't know what he got going on, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Damn it, uh, don't even look the same. Getting fat, down there, uh, confident and shit, like young Salon. They're probably on the medication, though. You know what I'm saying? Most of these guys, when they go, you know, they uh, psych meds out and shit. Humble. Straight drop, I already know. Like, look, man, you know. I'm out here in Manhattan on billboards. That ain't even no promotion straight job, really. They just uh keeping you, getting you a little bit of food and shit to keep you straight from not telling. They got so they on the way to come get you though. They already got this trial botched and everything. You know what I'm saying? In my personal opinion. So we gotta do more to go after the higher powers uh to get justice for dog. We gotta bring down somebody. Now, on to Jamarcus. And his partner, the infamous Hernandez Govan. I mean, he holding the door open for him. They see they they look appears to be a, a tad bit too comfortable to me, don't y'all think? I don't know, but uh, I just want to bring this to y'all attention and let y'all know what's going on with uh, Devin Burns. Basically, um, he's the secret. Yeah, the feds got him in tuck. You know what I'm saying? And I told y'all months and months ago the whole time, but. Of course, nobody want to listen because I ain't got all the rah rah shit. Just straight to the straight to the business over here. You know what I'm saying? Got to go to the movies to see a show or, the, or, the, or a play, the opera, or something like that. Um, yeah. So I'm curious to see what's about to um, be exposed. I feel like it's something about to happen that's gonna shock this whole case, and it's coming from the rumor mill among the COs at the Chevy County Jail because believe it or not, some heads about to roll over there too, just as, just as it is in the MPD. It's a transfer of power, people. The old guard is being is, is, is moving out and uh, yeah, people, heads are rolling for all the dirt they have gotten away with, all the murder, all the 
death, all the cover-ups, all the thievery, fakery, foolery, triple F, all of that. You know, what was done in the dark, I was gonna come to the light. So I advise everybody to, to stand together and go and fight this system instead of being a part of the system. And with that knowledge right there, uh, once again, Cash App dollar sign true results number two. Uh, once again, Cash App dollar sign true results number two. Um, just like everybody else do on their channel, do not uh, feel no type of way about when I when I see it. At least I'm doing work outside. And with that being said, stay blessed, like, share, subscribe. I always support if you can. And uh, I I see our next video. Next video, yeah, get excited. True.